We are here at Lenovo Suite with the Lenovo Yogabook 9i, and I have not been this excited for a laptop in a really long time. This is a dual screen foldable laptop. There is a 13.3 inch screen on the top and a 13.3 inch screen on the bottom. They are both OLED 2.8K screens. And then there's also a keyboard and a kickstand and a stylus and they all come included. So it's not like Microsoft where you have to buy them separately. So the Yoga Book 9i is shipping in April, hitting shelves in June. It's going to start around the $2,000 mark. And the really cool thing about it is that there are a ton of gestures that you can use to really optimize the two screens for whatever work that you're trying to use it for. In terms of specs, there are gonna be three USB ports. You can get up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and there's a five megapixel main camera for video conferencing. What you can do if you're scrolling through a website such as theverge.com is you can put your finger on it and flick it. And throw it down there. And if you want it back up there, flick. Flick, flick. Now, if you want it to just to be really long and just scroll endlessly, you can do a five finger tap. And this is called waterfall mode. Look at that scroll, that's fun. Now, you can also detach this. You can take it off the stand and you can fold it into just being a regular 13 inch laptop. So this would be good if you're you know, at a cafe or on a plane and you need just like a smaller device. Now you're gonna use eight fingers down here and that makes a keyboard up here. And below that, there's a little fake touchpad that you can use to navigate. And the coolest thing is there are these two buttons here and these actually click like I'm clicking and it really feels like I'm clicking an actual button. I'm really impressed with the haptic feedback on these. They really, it really feels like a real touchpad. And the touchpad is not delineated, but the buttons do make it pretty clear where the touchpad is. So I'm not worried about not knowing where I'm gonna click or clicking in the wrong place, which is sometimes an issue you can have with non-delineated touchpads, especially if you're clicking with your non-dominant hand. Now, if I wanna type, I can type up here. There's haptic feedback on this keyboard, which is very cool. It is a little weird to type on a totally flat surface, but I think this is something you get used to over time. And if you don't like that keyboard, you can pop the magnetic keyboard right onto there. Touchpad remains. Oh, and you can just type as normal. Now, if you want to keep the keyboard here, but you also want to do some navigation on the bottom half, you can use eight fingers to drag it down. And then there's some cool stuff up here that pops up. So we have a weather app here. You can check the weather. And here there are a bunch of things. So there's one window where you can see your CPU and GPU and RAM usage. And that can be particularly useful if you're playing a game or if you're doing some really intensive tasks and you want to keep an eye on how much strain you're putting on your hardware. If you scroll through here, there's news, there's a calculator, there's Outlook, schedule. So this is just neat if you don't think you're gonna be using a touchpad a ton because here you don't have touchpad access, but you wanna get rid of that, eight fingers, get rid of that. If we get rid of this keyboard and put this back up here, you can also navigate with the stylus. So the stylus lives in this little pocket back here. It's very secured. I'm not worried about it falling out or anything, but if I tug it out, I can use this to scroll. And that's pretty smooth. It's very comfortable. So here we have smart notes. can write with this, draw with it, pretty smooth, comfortable stroke. And the coolest thing is if you want to use it this way, but you don't want to use a stylus, you want to use a touchpad, they have this software here called the Yoga Book 9 User Center. And here they have all this different dual screen stuff where you can play with the virtual keyboard, the widget bar, and this is my favorite part, virtual touchpad. You could, if you set that up, if I tap with three fingers here, I have a touchpad. I can use this to navigate. I can click and drag these buttons here, have haptic feedback, and they do feel scarily like real buttons. It's very cool. And I can 
put this touchpad anywhere I want. So put it up there, I can put it over here, I can put it down here. And if I wanna use it this way, I can use it flat down here. So this is running Windows 11, but it's actually not a special version of Windows 11 that's made for dual screen devices or anything of that sort. It's just regular Windows 11, but Lenovo has built all these shortcuts in to make it easier to use the two screens together. So that's the YogaBook 9i. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you're excited for this device. Do you think there are even more shortcuts that you would like to see added? How do you think you would use this? I'm really excited to do a full review. For more news coming out of CES 2023, keep an eye on our YouTube channel and check out TheVerge.com where we'll have all kinds of other announcements from Lenovo, from Dell, from Acer, from every company out here.